Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Your Moz. Today we're talking about whether there are actually any batteries made for vaping. And at first I thought this was a pretty simple question, but the more I thought about it, the more complicated I realized it got. And the first thing we should talk about is what do we really mean when we say made for vaping? You know, I had four possibilities. One, is it just a battery that's suitable for vaping? Does that make it for vaping? Is it a battery that's just been wrapped and marketing to vapors, namely, if it's sold to vapors, is that a battery made for vaping? Must it be a manufactured approved battery? Does the manufacturer have to say, yes, this is for vapors? Does that make it made for vaping? Or does it have to be specifically designed from scratch just for vaping use, or certainly primarily for vaping use? And let's go through those four and, and see what we might think about uh, which one of these is appropriate for made for vaping. First one, suitable for vaping. Now, the problem is just saying, hey, any battery that's suitable for vaping is made for vapors is that there are dozens of Samsung, Sony, LG, Panasonic, Sanyo, Molly cell batteries that are plenty suitable for vaping, but they are not made for vaping. None were ever designed or created for vaping. And in fact, a lot of those companies, all of them except Molly cell, are definitely anti-vaping and tell us never ever to use those batteries for vaping. So just having a battery suitable for vaping, namely it can be used for vaping, doesn't mean it's made for vaping. Well, how about if it's battery wrapped um, and marketed to vapors? Does that make it made for vaping? Well, problem is just rewrapping a Samsung battery that is not for va made for vaping can we say now it is made for vaping just because we've rewrapped it and we're selling it to vapors? My opinion, no. That doesn't make it for vaping. It's not made for vaping just because you take another battery, put a wrap on it, and sell it to some companies. It's marketed to vapors. It's sold to vapors. They make millions of dollars from vapors, but it's not made for vaping. Number three, what if the manufacturer approves of their battery being used for vaping? Does that make it for vaping? Now, Molly Cell is the only big manufacturer that says, hey, yeah, vapors, please use our batteries. We totally approve of that use. The smaller China factories say, okay, they don't say anything really. They just sell the batteries to whoever would like to buy them. But those are just standard cells. They weren't manufactured for vaping. Having a manufacturer approve a battery for vaping doesn't mean it was made for vaping. It is approved by Molly Cell for that use, but those batteries already existed for other purposes before Molly Cell said, yeah, yeah, that's totally for vaping. And the China factories, because the big manufacturers, absolutely not. The smaller China factories say, okay, but they're just using the standard cells and someone buys them and puts the wrap on it. So manufacturer proof for vaping does not mean that's a battery made for vaping. And the fourth one, specifically designed for vaping. We'll get into that a little bit further, but for me, that's the only way you can have battery made for vaping. So are there any cells actually made for vaping? No. All of them are made for general or purpose use or other specific uses like power banks, laptops. This is what they were designed for originally. You, of course, you can use for anything. All of them, every single one was made for use inside a protected, both physically and electronically, a protected battery pack. They're not made for external use at all. That round lithium ion battery design has been around for a long time before vaping existed. None of these round cells were made for vaping, quote unquote. Now, what about companies that say the batteries are made for vaping? Well, that's marketing nonsense. You might uh, put in parentheses the two letters B and S for something like this. It's ridiculous. Some say they use special chemistries or special materials. All the companies use special materials and special chemistries. These are batteries. You just can't shovel dirt off the street or you know, burn a piece of wood to get the carbon and scrape together a bunch of chem chemicals in a high school chemistry lab and create a battery. Oh, maybe you could. It'll be a crappy one. But companies like Samsung, Sony, uh, LG, Panasonic, Sanyo, and others can spend literally years designing, prototyping uh, over and over and over to create a battery they want for a particular purpose, uh, electric vacuum cleaners or uh, power tools or something like that, or to fill, fulfill a particular requirement from the customer. So 
all the, all the companies tweak the batteries, all of them use special materials. So if a company says, well, we have batteries made for vapors because we use a special tweak of a chemistry and some special materials, every manufacturer does that and continuously works to improve their batteries. So if a company says, oh, well, we updated the chemistry, they all do that. That doesn't make it made for vaping. All of these batteries from all the companies, the round lithium ion batteries, still have the same problems when being used for vaping. The positive and negative is on top, so it can be short-circuited, being inserted or removed from a charger or a, a vaping device, maybe even a flashlight if the wrap is damaged badly enough. And I'm talking about all these circumstances now, I'm talking about with a damaged wrap. Who would design a battery to do that for vaping? Nobody. These batteries are not made for vaping. Uh, they all have the same rating ranges. You know, if they say they're made for vaping, yeah, but you have, you have the same basic ratings within a range that all the other batteries do. All the ones that claim they're made for vaping have the same thin wraps. How can that be made for vaping? They have the same chemistries, the same internal protection devices. Where is anything new in these batteries? There isn't anything new because they're not made for vaping. They take standard cells and they just say they're made for vaping because they would like us to spend our money on it. Don't be fooled. What would a cell, what would a battery made for vaping be like? What, what has to be different for a cell to be made for vaping? Well, higher ratings? Eh, every application for every battery wants more capacity. It doesn't matter what you're using a battery for. The person using that battery wants it to last longer before they have to charge it. So battery made for vaping isn't going to be one that has a you know that uh, higher capacity than any other battery out there. Everybody wants higher capacities. And current ratings, well, higher current ratings uh, work for some parts of vaping and other applications and not, uh, not for others as much because you can have high capacity or high current ratings. So depending on how you vape or your flashlight use or a power bank or whatever use, you may want more capacity or you may want a higher current rating because you can't have both. Well, how about a different size? Would that be something you'd have for made for vaping? Well, not really, in my opinion, because we can use, we can use existing sizes. We, we've got devices already set up, hundreds of them, that already use specific sizes. If we create a new size battery for vaping, well, then we're asking the entire industry to create all new devices also, and that's gonna make a lot less likely something like that to happen. Well, how about new battery chemistries? Well. Yes, maybe you could say, you know, vapors want uh, a safer chemistry, but we can certainly use the existing chemistries that are out there now. Nothing is really better in terms of the chemistries available right now. There will be solid state batteries and things like that. But for the existing chemistries, the batteries already exist and there's nothing new that we have to design. What we need for a battery for vaping is safety. This is what's gotten the, the community in terms of batteries in so much trouble. This is what's brought so much negative attention to the community. Get rid of both terminals on one end. Uh, this is a 26800, a monster. But the center is the positive. This ring around the outside is the negative. The wrap gets damaged on the top. Every time you put this battery in and out of a charger or a device, you can take the contact of the device and short circuit these two contacts, that's, nobody would just say, hey, let's put both terminals at one end of the battery. So if that tiny little piece of plastic gets damaged, there can be a short circuit. Huh, that's a great idea, huh? No, a battery made for vaping would never have that. They'd have a terminal on either end, like a regular double A AA or triple A or something like that. The po positive's on top, the whole can is positive, then there's an insulator, and the whole plate on the bottom is a negative. Nothing can be short circuited putting it in and out of a device. And that's how you know all the cells that we use for vaping were never made to be used outside a protected battery pack because they have these flimsy wraps. They have this little tiny insulating disc on top, barely held on by a wrap, and they get so easily damaged. That's a, that's a great indication that they're not made for vaping. And if a, a battery says it's made for vaping, well, ask the company why they're using this ridiculous design with two terminals here protected by a measly little piece of plastic. Solution? Overmolding with hard plastic. You have to make a slightly smaller battery or redesign all the devices, all the mods to hold a bigger battery, and then 
like they do like the original Aegis mods and some put rubber or hard plastic around the battery except at the two ends terminal at each end not both at one end though if you over mold it with hard plastic something that'll resist for years hundreds of times being put in and out of the device so a battery made for vaping cover in hard plastic now you're gonna have a slightly smaller battery you're gonna lose some capacity or maybe a little bit of your current rating but you're gaining the safety with a dedicated battery now you can use the safer LFP chemistry lithium ferrous phosphate or lithium iron phosphate that's the chemistry that is available in the A123 cells. It's a lower voltage chemistry, but it's the safest of the lithium ion chemistries that we have. Problem is, I mean, it'd be great for a battery made for vaping, but the capacity is very low. The best you can do for an 18650 is 1100 milliamp hours, 1100 ma. For a 26650, only 2600. It, namely, it's, it's less than half the capacity you can get with the more volatile uh, battery chemistries that we use. LiPo being the most volatile of all of them, but can also be the highest performing of the chemistries. So you're probably not going to be able to go to a safer chemistry. Another option is take existing cells and put them in protected battery packs. Something like the Indican Disruptor back from, what was it, three, four years ago, where something this size may have an 18650 in it, theirs was much more squared off, and the protection circuitry being in it, namely a better version of the protected battery, because you want physical protection around it also, not just a little circuit board spot welded or, or heat shrunk onto the end of the battery, which are most protected uh, batteries have. You want to have a hard shell around there, mainly make it truly protected. Trouble is, how do we get all the manufacturers to make devices that use this new standard for a battery pack? How do we get them to agree on a standardized battery pack? So that can be problematic too, but I'm not talking about what's easy and what's going to happen this year, but what would make a battery made for vaping? For me, it's safety. So the bottom line, no cells are made for vaping now. None. I don't care what scientific stuff they put on their website. I don't care what marketing claims they might make. It's not made for vaping. It is wrapped and marketed for vapors or approved for use by vapors. Don't fall for the hype. They're just standard cells. We need protected packs or a totally new cell design. Get the two terminals off here, put one on the top, one on the bottom. So having a short circuit is very hard to do. Trouble is the new designs cost a lot of money, take a lot of time, and it's probably not likely to happen. So this is nothing that's going to happen soon, a battery made for vaping. I hope someday there will be batteries made for vaping, but until then, we have to shop carefully and realize, hey, these are just regular batteries. Don't buy something that says it's made for vaping without comparing it to all the other batteries that are available to you and pick the ones with the current ratings that's appropriate and then the capacities that you want to work with, and of course, the size. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.